Alrighty, we played with integers. We played with strings and comments. We've done some interactivity, and there's another type that I'd like to show you within Python. And that would be lists. We need to store multiple objects under one variable. One simple, easy, quick way to do it is a list. So let's get our introduction to lists going today. All right, so strings and integers are sort of, uh, you know, unary. There's one item at a time in those things. Lists are different. They can be of varying lengths and contain multiple other objects within them. So this very first simple basic list I have is a list of my fears. And in this list, I have clowns, dentists, endless crippling loneliness, and my mailman. And I've shown Python that it's a list by adding these square brackets around each end. So let's go ahead and run this line here and see what comes up. Now, nothing is returned at the outset. I'm going to throw this window, slap it on the other side here. Nothing is returned at the outset, but we'll see that my fears are here within the system. And it reports the entirety of the list when I ask for it. This is a list of strings here. Each of the items within the list is a string. You'll see that the items are separated by commas both in the input and over here in the output. And that the comma within this string doesn't cause it to be a... Uh, a different item. It's, it's still just one item within that list. So uh, printing all this list at once isn't too intimidating. Obviously, as you go on, you may make bigger, more complicated lists. And looking at the whole thing at once isn't going to be feasible or wise or helpful. So uh, you can look at just one item from a list by subsetting the list. And we do that like this. We'll look at my fears. And then we'll use a square bracket to open and type the position of the item we want to open and close it. So I typed position zero there. But that's not too helpful because the font that I'm using, I think it's Courier New on this thing right now, doesn't have a slash or the zero, could be a capital O. Let's do one instead just so you can see it. So my fear is one is dentists. And to most of you, I'd imagine, that's probably counterintuitive because the first item on my list is clowns. And dentists is the second item. So it turns out when I was typing zero, that was asking it for the first position in the list. So if we look at my fears, zero, we'll see it returns clown, my first fear. So that is something that happens within Python and a number of other languages, which can take some time getting used to, and it probably will be a source of simple errors for you as you get started programming within this particular language. But be mindful of it. The first item in a list, the first position, is going to be the zero position. You start at zero, you go up from there. So if we look at the list under this lens, we've got position zero, one, position two is all of this, and position three. So let's see what happens if we ask it for the fourth position. And we'll get an error right away. It says list index out of range. So that means that there's nothing in that fourth position. We asked for something that just wasn't there. If you've got a list and you've forgotten its members, or you've modified its members in some way that's a little opaque, then you can find out how long it is by using this len function. So that's short for the length. And if we run len and we put parentheses around my fears, we'll see that the answer is four. There are four positions in that list. Now, once again, just to ram it into your head, those positions are 0, 1, 2, and 3. There is no position 4 like we've seen, but it is 4 items long, like we can count. Now, you can have lists of things that aren't just strings. Uh, you could actually mix numbers in here in the same list, as we're going to see. And we'll run that right over here. No problems. And we'll just go ahead and cycle back through my commands using that Alt-P, and it returns 1 as string and you'll say ha ha ed you tricked yourself those aren't numbers everything in that list is the same and i'll say you're right those are strings that just have number characters let's fix it just eliminate these quotations here and let's save it run it see what we get there you have it just the number one's return so that is a very quick look at lists. I just wanted to give you the notion because we're going to start playing with the interactions between strings and lists in the next several videos here. So I wanted you to have a basic idea of what's going on within lists. Again, this is Ed for my bring back. Thanks for spending time watching these videos. Hope to God you're learning something, man. Let us know if you're not and certainly follow us on YouTube so you can keep getting the new material as we push it out to you. Cheers.